Welcome back to Mamie's Mix Bag. Going to share with you what I'm up to today. Now, some of you may not think a six pane wooden window is a very romantic gift. However, uh, my husband knows his way to my heart, and this was one of my Valentine's gifts this year. I was really surprised and wasn't expecting it. And now it's been on my to buy list for the last couple years, and I've just been in situations where I couldn't get it home or, you know, whatever the case may be, or maybe it was overpriced. But he found this one and brought it home for me. And I am in the process of transitioning my formal dining room into a more casual space. You know, our plan is to downsize in about five years and I'm not going to have a formal dining room. So I'm trying to collect more casual decor and get rid of some of the more formal gold frame and, you know, filigree type stuff I have. This will fit the bill and I've got the perfect spot for it. So what I've decided to do is I've kind of, you know, scoured Pinterest and, and things and I found some ideas that I liked. And so I just thought I'd share with you what I'm going to do. Now I went and picked out of my stash I totally shot my stash didn't buy anything to go to do this um, I found six pieces of scrapbook paper coordinating paper to uh, fill the panes with and that way if I get tired of the color scheme I can always change it you know my next house or whatever I got six different ones I love the mix match look that is just my style I'm gonna mix the floral solids and stripes in the window panes and then I just saw, shot my stash I want to put some kind of little embellishment on the corner or two corners uh, I got some burlap burlap scraps and I'm gonna make a little banner on there and I've got some little cloth burlap ribbon I think I'm gonna use the word thankful just because that's what I had I, and if you don't know what thickers are thickers are basically just embellishments made out of thick cardboard that are adhesive I just happen to have the letters thankful now you can buy these adhesive letters anywhere to make banners so those are super easy to find trim out this scrapbook paper to fit in each of these panes so each pane will have a different design and then I'll get back with you when we're ready to construct the little banner all right I measured my string on my window for it where it's gonna drape and it's 23 inches so my word thankful cannot be over 23 inches I cut some little pieces of ribbon about three and a half inches long and I'm going to fold them all in half and cut them at an angle and that will create my ducktails I'm going to hot glue my letters onto the ribbon just like this and then I'm just going to fold it over onto the string and hot glue it. I'm playing around with what I pulled out of my stash to make the little corner embellishments now this is just some scrap burlap that I already had cut. All I'm going to do is I'm going to gather it in the center with my fingers just like that. It's almost like making a big bow and then I'm going to take some twine and tie around the center of it. I'll show you before I go any further. And then I'm just going to hot glue one of these already made lace roses on the top of it. I think that'll be just enough embellishment. You know sometimes you can do too much. I'm just going to play around with that and I'll see what I can come up with. Okay friends we are in my dining room now and this is where I chose to hang my window what I love about it is that these windows are so versatile you can leave them plain you can put wreaths on them you can change out the scrapbook paper you know they'll go above a fireplace or in a bathroom and I just think it's a super cute little decor thing that I've been wanting for a couple years and now I finally have one so I hope you enjoyed seeing what I did with mine thanks for watching bye bye